Hello, this is Craig, and I've been trying to make a tactical RPG. A couple of I've got about I don't know seven or eight prototypes of tactical RPGs, um, and the biggest thing holding me back is largely the lack of a tactical RPG library, because the library would include a whole bunch of stuff like uh, marking indicators, area markers. Tactical RPGs require, rely very heavily on things like uh, knowing how far you can move and knowing what the effect ranges are and that sort of stuff. And uh, those kinds of libraries don't really exist in Unity. There's no easy overlay, so I built this easy overlay system. Um, and this works really well. And I just wanted to show you quickly how I did it, because it's so easy that anyone can make it. So fundamentally, each of these is just its own little uh, square that I've put a transparent texture on top of. And you can use a plane if you want to get rid of this thin line here. Um, but I'm using a square because that way if the height ever differs then I'll be able to have uh, this go up and down without losing connection so you don't have any floating bits. You could do rotation stuff but I'd much rather keep it simple. Um, so the cube itself on its own looks like this. It's a transparent texture that's more transparent in the middle. But when I join it up into a hole into an area marker object, it looks for cubes neighboring itself, and uh, when it finds one, it shifts and scales the texture ever so slightly so that that border vanishes. Now this has a couple of small problems with it, such as these tiny little chips taken out of the outside corners here. Um, these borders are thin enough, I don't think it's an issue, but if I was using thicker borders, that would be an aesthetic problem. Now one of the things I really like, really like about this is that we can easily do uh, uh, these kinds of double overlays where you have two layers and they don't interact at all. Um, and that was something that I often had a messing, messy time with uh, in my earlier prototypes. Uh, it will allow me to do a lot of more complicated overlays. And of course uh, you can get rid of an overlay simply by telling it to go away. Uh, there's no difficulties at any point. And I really like this idea. Now in terms of memory overhead, uh, an, overlay, an overlay like this is or probably an order of magnitude um, more uh, uh, expensive than a well-crafted single object overlay. But an order of magnitude over almost nothing is still pretty close to almost nothing, so I'm not worried. Um, if it becomes an issue, I may have to optimize it, but I don't think it will and it should improve my ability to do strategy RPGs and anything else which requires that kind of overlay. So here's hoping, building up myself a, a little library of useful tools.